Let's talk about this Dallas Cowboys, man. The Eagles rival. I know, I know y'all kind of feel good about seeing the Dallas Cowboys lose lose like in that fashion, especially losing to the Jacksonville Jaguars. But a lot of people, they they putting a lot of blame on Dak. Um, you blaming that game on Dak? How you feeling against uh, with that loss against Jacksonville? I mean, I wouldn't blame Dak completely. Um, I mean, you know, it's a team game. Shit, I, they lost that game, uh, you know, as a team effort. But he did make a bonehead play down the stretch. Um, the the game winning touchdown, which was a pick six. Um, he threw the ball kind of like in traffic, kind of like on the run, kind of like uh, rolling to the left. So it's kind of like, you know, he was kind of like throwing across his body, trying to, you know, make right. a play. But the ball got tipped and shit, the safety, when he, when it got tipped, the safety picked that thing off and took it to the crib. You feel me? Game over. So, I mean, I'm pretty, I'm, it was a, it was a, that was an exciting game to be honest. Um, I think I actually called it. I think I, no, I don't think I called it, but I mean, you know, good thing Jacksonville won. Um, shit, they, they also trying to make a, 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 play, a playoff push. So that's good for them that they won. They got a big game this Thursday against the Jets on Thursday night football. You feel me? So, um, that's going to be a game to be excited for, for this Thursday. But, um, no, so that's, that's also setting up a huge game this Sunday too. I mean, I'm sorry, this Saturday between the uh, uh, Eagles and the Cowboys. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I was actually going to bring that up, but I wanted to keep stay on the Cowboys a little bit longer. So, yeah, I don't I don't think I, he, Dak deserved as much blame as he got. And if you really look at that last play that led down to it, I mean, the, de- the defense was giving up hella plays throughout the game, but they are missing a couple corners. They're missing a couple defensive players, and Jacksonville was taking full advantage of it. They had Trevor Lawrence out there looking like fucking – like Manning, bro. He was over there just shredding the defense. And it was the whole defense was kind of playing like Trayvon Diggs. You know how Trayvon Diggs, how he'll give up, he'll give up a whole bunch of shit, but he makes an interception, so you kind of forget about it. That's how the whole defense is playing pretty much the whole game. It was like, okay, Trevor Lawrence is shredding him, shredding him, shredding him, and then interception. Like, damn, how'd you do that? Shredding him, shredding him, shredding him. He fumbles. Bad fumble, which at the end of the game, he should have never fumbled. I don't know why he didn't slide. He had plenty of time, plenty enough time to slide and get down. But uh, on that last interception, I felt like Dak made a good ball. It was a third and four. He had to make a play. They needed a field goal for the dub. And he threw it. Sure, he threw it across his chest. He threw it. But Pat Mahomes, if Pat Mahomes would have done that, they would have said good throw. It looked like it hit him pretty much in his chest and it bounced off his chest. The wide receiver to me should have caught that ball. It was a t- it was in a, in a small pocket, but I felt like the wide receiver should have caught the ball. It hit his hands and hit his body. He didn't. He didn't make the play. My bad. Say that last part again. You kind of cut off towards the end, towards, towards the very end. No, I was saying so. And that last play, I don't think, I don't think Dak Prescott when when he threw the ball, and uh, on that third and four, uh-huh. I don't think that I wouldn't say that was uh-huh. Dak Prescott's fault. I think he put it in position. I feel like he put it where it had to be, and if Patrick Mahomes would have had to make that play, they would have said it was the wide receiver's fault because I feel like it hit his hands, it hit his chest, it bounced off, and then the dude took it to the house. But Dak Prescott, he gave him the Not opportunity yet. to make the first down. Yeah, that's true. But when you, it's an overtime, it's an overtime game, and um, I feel like it was. Not even if we go back and look at it, it was still some a good amount of time left. And that and that play was like I think it was second down. It might have been third down. Third third but no matter four. if it was second, so okay, so it's third and four. But if you think about it. I mean, that kind of goes like how they lost that that Green Bay Packer game. It seemed like they don't really trust their defense because, um, you know, if even if they didn't convert on third and four, that could have threw the ball away if his if his receiver wasn't open. You feel me? Then that would have gave you know them you know they they could have put their defense on the field. Their defense might have got a three and out, and then you feel me? They could have gave the offense another chance. So, in my opinion, it seemed like the Cowboys don't really trust their defense for right uh, down the stretch. 